Nicholas Sackless was the one person, in my view, who stands in our community above all others uh, because of how he lives the American dream. His response to the American dream has been to give, to give again, and to keep on giving with no thought of return, and to do so quietly, touching so many lives. He and Thea Jean, whether it's giving to a Guatemalan mission so that a child can overcome a cleft palate, or supporting the various churches in this community, or providing scholarships for children, they view their commitment as something that isn't just there to give a gift or to help in that moment, but to change that person's life. He never looks for recognition. He's very humble about it. Um, he doesn't want his name, you know, on a plaque or on a building. He, he always says it's, it's not about him. It's about the cause or who he's trying to help. In sports, people, people say, you know, when you hit a home run in baseball or you, you score a touchdown, you're supposed to just go back to your sideline, go back to the dugout. Don't run around like, like you haven't done it before. They say act like you've, done, you've been there before. Well, that's my dad. He doesn't, he doesn't spike the football. He doesn't do a victory lap. He's just thankful for what he has and he's willing to share it. And I think that's what makes him great. He always made sure we all got a good education growing up. That's for sure. And he even went to college, which for his generation was somewhat unusual. Well, Nicky was almost like a dad to me because, like I mentioned earlier, I went to work almost every day with him through the weekends and on the winter and then every day during the summer. Um, he also was my uh, baseball coach for many years. And uh, so I always looked up, for, when I was young, I always looked up to Nicky as almost like a father image because he was, my dad was always working hard, working a lot of hours and uh, Nicky was always there for me because he's the one I would spend a lot of time with driving back and forth to work. Uh, I, I think uh, that's kind of understood Nick and his, uh, his commitment and work ethics to uh, the bakery. I mean, the man works long, hard hours, 12, 14 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, you know, he loves his business. Uh, Nick is, is the most humble person I think I've ever known, just about the most humble. And um, just nice, decent human being. Um, I can't imagine anybody in the world ever saying or thinking anything bad about Nick Sackless. Uh, he is extremely involved with the, the charities of our cathedral uh, when something arises that he has an interest in. He's been someone that has, has been very forthright and stepped in and has assisted with uh, the philanthropic needs of our community. Has always been there to offer very good and sound advice. Someone asked me once about who are my heroes and what characteristics those heroes have. And Patriarch Pavley, of blessed memory of the Servant of Elfers Church, was one of the most humble men that I've ever met. Um, and as I thought about that question, what is it about Mr. Nick that intrigues me and draws me to him as a friend? And that's humility. Um, it's big as I am, standing next to him. Um, he's pretty small, you know. Um, but for me, it's, it's, it's the guy who, who just, just doesn't talk it. He, he walks the walk. Um, he's the littlest giant. He gets her down with all his employees down in the bakery. He'll work right, right alongside of them. Seeing him walk up and down the street, going back to see, check on his mother, going over into the thrift store. He's always working. He's here. Basically, I guess you could say 24-7. He's a lot of fun to work with as well as, you know, very generous and just, they're just all around good people. Nick's always treated me with a lot of respect and treats me like a friend rather than an employee. And, uh, yeah, I've always known to make sure I did what was right to keep him happy at the same time, so. I know with his parents, uh, they're retired, but I, you know, uh, he was basically brought up to, to worry about the baby. And for years, he never had vacations that I know of. He always spent time here. But with the young family that he has now, he's, he's seeing them more often, which is good.